Hey, what's up? How you doing today? Nerd Boy is going to show you an adventure in uh, rebuilding a uh, Frigidaire Grind Pro garbage disposal. It's a one-third horsepower, so giving you a little demo. When you test it, hold on to it nice and tight because it's got pretty good starting torque. It's pretty, uh, pretty uh, torquey, so supposed to be about four amps, I think. So. plug it so I don't cut any fingers off digits and I showed you in another video some detail on the rotor but when you assemble it put it back together it can be kind of tricky you want to do it just like it is here start with this bottom part and put the rotor in gently push back the brushes with the scribe or little bitty screwdrivers you have probably might have to have one on each side or Actually, I think I was able to uh, push one aside with the rotor itself where it contacts and then just use one screwdriver or scribe on the other side. But then once you get the rotor in, you'll drop the cylinder down with the magnets on it and you want to hold the bottom of the rotor firm so that the cylinder and the magnets don't suck it up out of there and you have to start over. And when you get that down, put the plastic part with the two little... I think number eight size studs that come all the way down through here. One of them is right here. And this is on here. It's a left-handed thread. Keep that in mind. So instead of righty-tighty, lefty-loosey, it's the other way. And the reason I had this thing failed in the first place is because it got clogged up and didn't get unclogged for a long time. So this whole part rusted up real bad and this outer steel part. These two parts are actually uh, stainless. You can't tell that now because I've coated it. But uh, if it had, if it had been unclogged, it wouldn't have seized up and rusted up. So um, that part goes on there. Not even sure which way that goes, but I'm considering replacing this five sixteenths coarse screw with a regular hex head bolt, but. Then again, I may just take the right tool with me this time and use it. I think it's a T25 Torx bit, and that will probably work much better. But I couldn't tell up in there. I thought it was a Phillips, and it wasn't working too hot, so I wind up having to use a flathead. So I think that's about it, kiddos. Good luck. Wish you the best. Live long and prosper.